the Dale E. Haidloff Community Arts Innovation Awards, the Harmony Project Prison Arts Program. Reaching 350 people across three Ohio institutions, Harmony's Prison Arts Program supports those who have been incarcerated by utilizing music in weekly sessions to develop empathy and to build community. In addition to singing together and working with Harmony volunteers from the outside, the participants engage in service projects that connect them with the world beyond prison. Through the program, participants begin to trust their own voices, gain self-confidence, and implement healthy coping skills. The motto, where I am does not define who I am, guides Harmony Project's prison arts program. Individually, we see people who were shut down emotionally, who would walk into a room with their jaws tight and their shoulders up having a really bad day, but we watch how music and creative writing and performance starts to wear that down and expose who they truly are. For the first time ever, some of these folks are finding their voice, and when they find their voice, they find a platform, and when they find a platform, they're able to be part of affecting change in the community through art. In June 2023, the project hosted a first-of-its-kind prison-wide arts festival. For the first time in Ohio history, women and men from the three prisons came together for a day of singing, spoken word, artwork, and a celebration of community. We have become community today. I'm referring to our men from Pickaway Correctional and Madison Correctional, plus our incredible women from ORW. What we've seen today was all three entities working together for the same cause, and it's never been done before, and it's remarkable, and one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in the 28 years that I've worked for this department. Harmony's prison arts program has garnered local and national recognition for breaking down social and geographic barriers through experiential art and shattering stereotypes within the prison system. The rate of incarceration in Ohio is high, but our recidivism rate is one of the lowest in the United States. And I contribute that to some of the programming that's going on. A lot of us can't sing a lick, but yet I felt empowered today. I sung my heart out, and I heard my brothers and sisters singing their hearts out. The programming puts Harmony Project's mission of creating a more inclusive society into practice, building social harmony that truly includes everyone. Most importantly, what I think these prison arts programs do is that they change the perspective of people on the outside who are looking at a prison. The first time I walked in, I walked in with an idea of what was going to be waiting for me. And I did not trust the people I was about to see. I'm embarrassed to say that now. But when I walked in, I saw that they were looking at me the same way I was looking at them. Slowly over time, music and writing and art opened that door for us to trust one another. And now I am most myself when I am working with the people in, that I work with within the institutions. One of the things I'm most proud of is seeing the people who work within the prison system changing the way they approach the people who are serving time. That they're no longer a number, and they're no longer just a big mass of incarcerated people. They are individuals. We're no longer referring to them as prisoners or inmates. We're referring to them as people, as human beings. And that is the power of the arts.